Etsy is one of the largest online marketplaces dedicated to handmade, vintage, and craft supplies. Founded in 2005, Etsy has grown exponentially over the past decade. It established itself as a go-to platform for independent artists, crafters, and vintage sellers to reach a vast audience of buyers. As of 2022, Etsy has over 60 million active buyers browsing and purchasing handmade and vintage goods on the site. These buyers spent over $13 billion on Etsy in 2021 alone, providing a massive opportunity for Etsy sellers to tap into this demand. Etsy also has over 5 million active sellers in its marketplace. Currently, attracted by the large customer base and Etsy's tools to start and manage an online shop, Etsy provides an accessible platform for creative entrepreneurs and small business owners to turn their passions into profit. With millions of engaged buyers ready to purchase unique, handcrafted items, Etsy offers an unparalleled opportunity to reach a massive global consumer base hungry for items not found anywhere else. Whether you make jewelry, art, home goods, or any other craft, Etsy gives sellers the perfect venue to find buyers who appreciate one-of-a-kind creations. Understand Etsy's business model Etsy makes money by charging FEs to sellers rather than buyers. Sellers pay Etsy both a listing fee to post an item and a transaction fee when that item sells. The listing fee is $0.2 per item listed. This fee is charged upfront when you list an item, regardless of whether it sells or not. The transaction fee is 5% of the item's sale price, including shipping. This fee is only charged when an item actually sells. For example, if you sell an item for $20 with $5 shipping, the transaction fee would be $1.25 to $5 of $25. Etsy collects payment for sold items from buyers and remits the sale price minus FEs to sellers. As the seller, you keep the rest of the profit from the sale after Etsy's FEs. Understanding this fee structure helps sellers determine if their profit margins are viable. You can factor Etsy's listing and transaction FEs into your pricing and financial planning. Choose the right products to sell on Etsy when starting an Etsy shop. Put careful thought into what types of products you will sell. The most successful Etsy sellers focus on unique, quality handmade items that you can't find anywhere else. Vintage items and crafting supplies also tend to sell remarkably well on Etsy. Do market research to determine current trends and best-selling products in the handmade space. Look at what the top Etsy sellers are offering. Read Etsy's annual trends reports. Browse your competitors' shops to identify popular products. Consider both broad categories and micro-trends within those categories. Handmade and vintage products that consistently gain traction on Etsy include jewelry, wall art, home decor, wedding supplies, candles, clothing, baby items, party supplies, bento lunchboxes, and much more. Dig deeper to find niche items within those broader categories. Make sure your products align with what shoppers are actively searching for and buying on Etsy, but also aim to provide something fresh and distinctive that stands out from the competition. The goal is to choose products that both fit current trends and reflect your own creative vision or brand. Take high-quality product Photoscreet product photography is essential for standing out and making sales on Etsy. Follow these tips for taking Etsy-worthy photos. Use clean, clutter-free backgrounds. Avoid distracting backgrounds. A plain white background works for most products, but you can get creative with relevant backdrops. Take photos in natural lighting. Outdoor light is ideal, or near a large window. Indoors. Avoid flash and overhead lighting, which can create glare and shadows. Get multiple angles and detail shots. Take a straight-on photo, but also get creative with angled shots, alternate views, uses, scale, and close-ups of important details. The more high-quality photos, the better. Use a good camera. Invest in a DSLR camera if you can, but a smartphone camera can work too with proper lighting and settings. Use the highest resolution possible. 
edit photos lightly. Editing apps can help optimize lighting, color, and remove distractions. But avoid excessive editing that misrepresents the product. Follow Etsy's photo tips. Etsy provides a photo guide and requirements for image sizes, types, and number of photos per listing. With clean, well-lit, high-raise photos from multiple angles, your Etsy listings will look professional, compelling, and stand out. Photos are what draw shoppers in, so investing time in great product photography is a must. Write strong listing descriptions. Your product listings are your storefront on Etsy, so you'll want to make them as compelling as possible. Follow these tips for writing descriptions that help sell. Include detailed product information and dimensions. Don't just state what an item is, give all the details a buyer needs to make a purchase decision. List materials used, production techniques, dimensions, and any other relevant specs. Tell your brand's story, share what inspired you to make this product and any interesting details about how it was designed or made. Help connect buyers to your creative process. Use relevant keywords. Etsy search works off keywords, so naturally incorporate relevant terms throughout your descriptions. For example, if you sell handmade guitars, use words like acoustic, electric, handcrafted, and so on. Mention customization options. If you offer custom sizing, colors, or personalization, explain this in your listings. Buyers love finding one-of-a-kind items just for them. Explain care instructions. Let buyers know how to properly care for and clean your items so they last. This is especially important for apparel and home goods. Add lifestyle photos. Show your products being used alongside descriptive captions. This helps buyers visualize owning and enjoying your items. Strong listing descriptions help buyers make confident purchase decisions and find your products through search. Take the time to carefully craft them for each item you list. Price items competitive lipping your products appropriately is key to making consistent sales on Etsy. You'll want to price your items competitively based on similar products, but also factor in your costs and Etsy's FEs. Research similar items pricing browse Etsy and take note of how much similar items from other sellers are listed for. Is there a typical price range for this type of product? You can filter search results by price to see what's selling at different price points. Check closed and sold listings to see actual selling prices. See if popular items have increased their prices over time. Factor in materials, time, and fees. Calculate what your materials and supplies cost per item. Include things like packaging and shipping costs. Determine how long it takes you to make each product. Pay yourself a fair hourly wage to account for your time. Remember to factor in Etsy's listing FEs, transaction FEs, and payment processing FEs. These will cut into your profits. Offer promotions and sell as consider having sales sections in your shop with discounted items or site-wide sales during peak seasons. Offer coupon codes and free shipping occasionally to encourage larger orders. Run limited time flash sales on older inventory or slower selling items. Get found in search jetting found in Etsy and Google search results is critical for driving traffic and sales to your shop. Here are some tips to improve search visibility. Optimize SEO with titles, tags, and keywords. Etsy search works a lot like Google. Include your main keywords naturally in the listing title and description. Also, make use of all 13 tags to target searches. Research the most popular keywords around your products to make them findable. Promote listings on social media drive targeted traffic to your shop. By sharing your product listings and images on social platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Use relevant hashtags to reach buyers searching those topics. Run Etsy Ads Etsy provides a built-in advertising platform to promote your listings. You can target searches related to your items and pay only when someone clicks. Make the most of your budget by a or b testing ad creative and targets. Track return on ad spend. Encourage reviews and favorites listings with more reviews and favorites tend to rank higher in Etsy search. Follow up with buyers asking them to leave feedback. 
Offer a discount or free gift in exchange for a review. Renew best-selling listings Renewing popular listings helps keep them ranking high in relevancy. Use Etsy's analytics to see your top performing products to focus SEO efforts on. Driving traffic from search is essential for Etsy sales growth. Continuously optimize your titles, tags, product photography, reviews, and more to maximize how many potential buyers can find your handmade and vintage items. Provide excellent customer service set providing excellent customer service is crucial for success on Etsy. As an Etsy seller, you want to ensure every customer has a positive experience to encourage repeat business and positive reviews. Here are some tips. Quickly respond to questions and concerns. Check your Etsy conversations regularly and respond to any customer inquiries within 24 hours. Quick communication reassures customers and builds trust. Offer fast shipping with tracking. Ship orders out quickly, ideally within 1-2 business days. Provide tracking numbers so customers can follow their package. Fast shipping with updates gives customers peace of mind. Follow up with thank you notes. Send a quick thank you message when an order ships. Customers appreciate the personal touch. You can also include a small gift like a sticker or coupon code as a surprise extra. After delivery, check in to ensure the customer is satisfied with their purchase. Providing exceptional service leads to positive word of mouth, which helps your Etsy shop thrive. Going the extra mile for customers encourages repeat business and long-term success. Selling on Etsy. Manage finances and taxes keeping proper financial records is an essential part of running any business, including an Etsy shop. Here are some tips for managing your finances and taxes as an Etsy seller. Track income and expenses accounting software or spreadsheets to track all income and expenses for your Etsy shop. Record each sale and fee charged by Etsy. Also track any expenses like product materials, shipping costs, advertising, website fees, etc. Save all receipts and supporting documentation in case you get audited. Good record keeping helps maximize tax deductions. Categorize income and expenses so you can calculate profit margin on your products. This helps determine pricing and manage the health of your business. Save for paying quarterly tax Most Etsy sellers need to pay quarterly estimated income taxes on their earnings. Save at least 15 minus 25 from each sale for taxes. Pay estimated taxes online through the IRS Direct Pay or Electronic Federal Tax Payment System. This avoids tax penalties for underpayment when you file. Adjust quarterly payments based on income fluctuations. If making less one quarter, lower the payment. Deduct business expenses debt, all valid business expenses from your Etsy income, including product costs, shipping, ease, advertising, home office use, mileage, supplies, etc. Use the IRS mileage rate if deducting vehicle expenses for errands like buying supplies. Keep detailed mileage logs. If working from home, Calculate the business use percentage to deduct home office expenses. Meet with a tax professional to utilize all available deductions and get personalized advice for your situation. Proper financial management and tax preparation helps Etsy sellers maximize profits while staying compliant. Consult a tax advisor or CPA for guidance on managing your unique finances. Grow your Etsy shop over time. As your Etsy shop grows and becomes more established, you'll want to expand your product catalog, build an email list, and reinvest profits to improve operations and scale the business. Expand your product catalog and get complacent with just a few best-selling products. Continue developing new items, designs, materials, and categories to give customers more variety and newness. Release special collections for holidays and seasons. Limited edition and one-of-a-kind pieces can create buzz and demand. Build an email list and rely solely on Etsy for traffic and sales. You need to build your own email list to market to customers directly. 
offer an opt-in incentive like a coupon or freebie for signups. Send occasional promotional and transactional emails to nurture relationships. Just be careful not to overdo it. Reinvest profits as your shop generates steady profits. Reinvest a portion back into the business. Upgrade equipment and tools. Hire help for production, shipping, or administration if needed. Consider paid advertising on Etsy and beyond. Improving operations can let you scale up and increase capacity, but focus on sustainable growth over rapid expansion. Growing an Etsy shop takes time and consistent effort, but expanding your catalog, email list, and operations can help take you to the next level. Just stay true to your brand and loyal customers along the way. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more informational videos.